all right guys so we are moving on to the painting of this marina bay sand structure right here and so using that light blue we are just going to paint the sides of the structure right here using that um, brush just trying to make sure that we have all these different kinds of blues again we do not want to use the same blue so here we have the use of this ceridian blue or sky blue and this is going to be combined with a little bit of some light tones or some gray tones yep so combine this light blue tone with a purple kind of tone and that will give us a very nice kind of variation within this same structure right here so by using all these variations that will give us some very nice gradations of colors and you can see right now that the, that the purple kind of gray is combining well with the um, blue at the bottom right so we're going to repeat this same thing you know with all the other structures you know we have that grayish blue ultramarine blue mixed with gray and again just trying to make sure that um, this part here is combined well with you know another part the bottom part okay using this brush again we want to have some changing tones so just just kind of like do it pretty um intuitively because um i've been painting for many years and so this kind of a transition of, of colors is pretty um automatic but for um, students we will need to uh, make sure that your mind kind of like have to move in terms think in terms of different colors and that will really help us to have all these very nice kind of uh, colors and tr color transitions and that will really you know help us to be able to paint very well with all these different colors so we just want to um, repeat this same technique and this same process for the rest of the structures right there and we have this one that is nearest to us so we can see that the shape of this marina bay sense is kind of like bending diagonally and we have the use of browns here as well so we have the use of browns we have the use of this grays and of course the use of this blues which again give us you know all these very nice kinds of uh, combinations of colors and so we will need to use our small brush small brush right now to kind of like paint the other areas we have the um, windows and so the way i actually paint these windows is i use my small brush to depict all these windows and um the different rows of the windows so after that when it's a little bit dry i can i kind of like use my other brush to paint in the lighter areas for the walls of the buildings so i use black paints and some dark paints to paint the windows and after that i will use the brush to kind of like um paint the rest of the buildings and so um this is very important when we actually use the small brush to kind of like show all these different kinds of windows and using the dry brush technique to just kind of like drag the paint across so it has this like very dry and very kind of a rustic kind of a you know um structural kind of a effect you know when we actually drag the paint across that can give us a very nice depiction of the windows and structures and so on and so forth so again using the side of the brush just drag the black paint across in a very quick manner and that will give us this kind of effect All right so very quickly using my brush to um, paint in the lighter areas the lighter blues for the walls of the uh, marina bay sand structure and just very quickly making sure that this part here is almost covered entirely and so we'll have all these different kinds of uh, light tones and dark tones with the dark tones depicting the windows and of course once it's dry later on we will use the color pencil to help us 
to add in more details. Okay, so just repeating the same um, method, um, just painting the dark blues for the top um, structure and using the dark paint like dark greens to depict the items at the top of the Marina Bay Sands at the sky bar and again using the same method to help us with painting all these you know <coughs> windows and all these you know things that we are seeing so again we are using all these different kinds of uh, dark colors like purples and dark blues and light blues and a little bit of greens and browns to help us to depict all these different windows so again as you can see right now I'm using the color pencil to help us to add more details right there Right, so using a small brush, just trying to complete all these windows and then just painting in the lighter colors. And right now you can see how I actually used the color pencil to add in some of those details to brighten up the building. So we have the use of, you know, some blue color pencil like right here. So to just um, draw in some of the lines in between those windows and some light purple. So we have light purple, we have light blue that will give us some very very nice kind of uh, effect using the color pencil and using the black color pencil again to depict all these different areas and we will have all these you know amazing kind of uh, structures and amazing kind of uh, depiction of the details and again just trying to make sure that we have all these details and all these color pencils that will give us you know um, all these amazing kind of uh, changes within that same structure right so we can also have add in a little bit of some white color pencils that we give us some highlights you know from those windows and just trying to make sure that everything is well designed and well done okay using that color pencil which will also help us to make the image look sharper because with more details then it can actually stand out more with all those um, extra strokes that are being added in order to pack more of those details within that same structure all right so that we have the use of grays and we have the use of all these different colors and again just trying to use the brush to very quickly help us to complete the this entire you know um, building and just trying to use this uh, blue color pencil to help us with everything and very quickly i'm just going to finish up this entire structure right there all right so i'm um, using the color pencil just trying to make sure we have all these different areas that are done Right, so now let's all move on to the rest of the painting. And uh, I'm going to use some of those blue tones in order to paint those buildings that you're seeing right now. So right here we have the use of all these blue tones. So the thing is again, we want to use all these different blues. And right now we have this very strong kind of cerulean blue, which is the sky blue painting that building right there. And leaving white some of the areas that will be you know paint it on later and so um, I use different colors to paint the background buildings on the right to the right of the MBS so we have like light blues we have um, dark blues we have all these different blues and all these different kinds of uh, colors and again that will help us to you know um, have all these amazing colors and amazing kind of uh, changes within those blue areas and this will really help us to you know uh, give us this amazing kind of uh, changes and transitions between those blues which will later on you'll see that you know is that you actually come out very well so right now I'm actually um, leaving white some of the, some of the places and I'm just trying to apply all these colors so because of the sun sunset kind of atmosphere that actually creates all these blue tones on the buildings um, which you'll normally not see because they're actually not blue but um, because of the effect of the sunset you can see right now that um, they're actually being depicted because they are 
uh, kind of like far away from the viewer's perspective and again leaving white those areas which are depicting depicting the lights and so right now just trying to complete all these buildings to the left of the building that we just did so again using a darker kind of blue um, using this ultramarine we are trying to make sure that we have all these different buildings that are being added in and that will give us all these like purples and grays and so on and so forth which will really help us to um, have all these different blues right so again just trying to make sure that we have all these different kinds of blues and purples that make up the buildings right here and again just trying to make sure that you know we have all those areas that are left white which are the lights so in my previous videos you know in my earlier videos of um, trying to paint all these buildings I actually show how to how I actually um, painted in all those um, walls of the buildings and just painting the darker colors for the building first and leaving white those areas that are the lights so I'm just trying to repeat that right now but it's just that there are not so many details because the buildings are pretty far away and we are just trying to depict all these buildings using the same kind of method uh, the same kind of uh, similar kinds of colors okay so just trying to make sure we have all these purple tones in and we have all these pink tones in and that will really give us all these you know amazing kind of uh, color combinations and as we move towards the right hand side you can see that there's all these darker tones and all these darker kinds of colors and darker kind of purples so that will really give us all these amazing combinations we have darker blues we have lighter blues we have purplish blues and sky blues and ultramarine blues so all these different kinds of blues right now as you can see is making up a very nice kind of a combination of colors for those for those buildings right there so again using my brush just trying to depict all these different areas and using the dark blue and different strokes of the brush again trying to depict those buildings and all those structures that you're seeing right now and so we'll need to um, really make use of the brush to um, try to have all those all those lines and all those details and again using the browns just trying to depict those areas on the right and using another blue we are trying to make sure that we have all these buildings covered in all these very nice blues that is also complementing with the MBS building on the left and so right now just trying to fill up all these areas that were left white, left white with some light browns that they are forming the lights that are coming out from those windows right, so just repeating the same process right here for all those buildings that you see on the right hand side so it is a very good method to actually use different blues and different darks and different light and um, again we can see the heights of the buildings are being, being varied so one very important thing is to vary and change the heights you know of all these similar structures but they are placed side by side to each other because when we change the heights they will also give rise to rhythm rather than um, in addition to the rhythm of colors we have and also in addition to the rhythm of shapes we have the rhythm of heights so imagine if you are painting mountains you know if we paint it in different heights they will make it more interesting rather than you know having all these mountain peaks with the same heights and so right here we have the use of all these you know different heights of the buildings and it, it goes low and it comes high again and it goes low and it comes high again so that will give us all these very interesting rhythms that you know the viewer unconscious unconsciously is actually taking in um as compared to imagine all the buildings having the same height that would be pretty kind of a boring and uniform and it, it looks a bit odd so it looks more natural when we have all these different heights that are being depicted all right so right now just using the brush to kind of like paint the blue tones in and just very quickly moving on to um, the painting of the rest of the buildings on the right hand side 
I'm just trying to make sure that we have again all those areas that were left white. I'm just trying to also use those light blues and again trying to use all those strokes and all those different kinds of blues and purples and so on and so forth and light blues alternating between lights and darks again you can see right now that all these buildings are forming together um, pretty amazingly and you know we have all these pretty cool techniques that I've just mentioned to you and we have you know the use of all these brown strokes and blue strokes that make up the details on the buildings which we have that HSBC building right there I know that because we have that huge reflection at the top for the lights so we have this building on the right hand side which again we are moving into the dark area so as you can see right now in my mind I'm just kind of like designing light tones and dark tones together so we have darks and then we have light and then we have darks so that's how we actually move you know from one area to the next because um, the depiction depicting and also the planning of the light tones and dark tones is pretty important in a painting when we actually you know draw or sketch out the tonal sketch for a painting for example we would want to know where are the dark areas and the light areas and that will give us a very strong design kind of a tonal design that will give us you know this very um, strong kind of image when we have a good tonal design and so the darks and the lights are very important in an image okay so we have that OCBC building being painted and of course it is very far away so we can't really see the details so just making sure that we have all these details for the buildings in first before we actually move on to the final part of the painting which is on the right so right now um, the first layer of the OCBC building is dry so I just painted in the second layer so we have the Art Science Museum right there in front which is not yet painted but right now we are painting the roofs of um, this um, structure right there so just beside that Marina Bay Sands we have some of those structures which I'm not exactly sure what building that is but we have these roofs and we have all these you know details and I'm just using my brush to kind of like make sure that we have all these shapes and all these different kinds of rectangles that form the windows and that is something that is you know very amazing with all these different shapes and all these pinks and purples and you know um we have all these again lighter blues and darker blues more intense blues and light less intense blues and all these shapes that form in between all those trees and that will give us all these amazing kind of uh, purples so again using that purple we are trying to form that the top of that roof and after that once it's dry we will be able to paint in those pink um, tones to form those lines that we just left white right so using the blues and the blue strokes and the brush just trying to create and to uh, make sure that we have all those details in before we move on to the rest of the painting all right so right now it's dry so i'm using the the brush to help us do those pink lines again for all these details there so it's amazing to see how, how this pink is actually blending well with the purples and i'm just trying to make sure that we have all these um, dark blues and all these um, lighter blues and this is really going to make sure that this entire area is filled with all these very very amazing blues and very cool kind of uh, colors uh, we have browns we have you know all these different blues and right now we are moving on to the art science museum where again I'm actually using all these different hues of blues and grays to paint the entire structure so we have some purples there as well and we are trying to make sure that this entire structure is um, pretty well designed and in terms of colors with all these different colors 
and leaving white those areas which will be filled in later because they consist of a different part. So using all these dark tones, I'm just trying to make sure that we have all these different kinds of parts and all these different details. So right now the pink there, uh, the Art Science Museum is pretty dry from the first layer. So we're just trying to um, paint the second layer, uh, the, the second part. Okay, which is another part, another section using that pink kind of tone. Just using the brush to kind of like help me with all these different kinds of details, right? So using the brush, just trying to make sure that we have the, the blues and the, you know, um, all these kinds of uh, shapes okay, in place. And again, leaving white for those shapes. And then we would be able to um, make sure that we have all these different kinds of uh, colors and tones and that will be you know something that is very important again to depict all these different shapes that we are seeing right now using the brush to help us with the um, all these details between the art science museum and the building on the left hand side right so again trying to make sure that we have all these lighter blues and darker greens and so on and so forth and trying to make sure that all these things are coming together because that is something which you know um is very important when it comes to the designing of colors so right now using the color pencil to help me with some of the details on the right hand side and making sure that we have all these different kinds of details and all these different kinds of uh, color pencils that add all these amazing um, purples and just filling up those areas where which was left white because of the lights and right now just trying to uh, make sure that we have all these colors in so this is how i actually depicted the buildings here you know just trying to make sure that we have all these um, changing and pulsating kind of colors to, to show rhythm and just combining the colors well as we now move towards the Fullerton area with some of the purples and some of the dark blues and that is really giving us all these amazing amazing kinds of colors and changing hues and changing tones and right now as you can see the buildings are coming together in a very very cool way with these amazing colors working very well together in this sunset scene of Marina Bay Sands and the downtown area of Singapore right so um if you have a chance to actually visit this place you can see that this place is truly vibrant and is pulsating with all these very nice colors and very nice kinds of lights that is coming out from those buildings and so it is a paradise for a, an urban landscape painter like me to be able to paint all these scenes you know like night scenes and sunset scenes of the Marina Bay Sands of the Raffles Place of the Esplanade of the Fullerton of the you know all these different areas indeed give me some very very nice kinds of kind of uh, uh, te uh, techniques and, and, and materials to actually you know explore when it comes to painting urban landscapes and right now we are moving on to the painting of this bridge right here which of course connects the buildings on the left hand side with those on the right okay so very quickly just using the brush to paint all those strokes so it's the bridge is made up of all these lines that i'm actually using in the brush to actually do and uh, we have all these different colors colored lines we have orange we have grays we have you know all these different kinds of uh, lines for example we have purple lines we have all these blue lines and that's how i actually make use of these colors to depict the bridge right here hey everyone it's ky tom here thank you for watching my video if you enjoyed my video please hit the like button and comment down below do consider to subscribe to my channel for more art videos check out the links on the description below to find out more about my art and i hope to see you in the next one